So Hunter's working on some parsley right now, and I'm busting out a little bit of basil. I just knocked out some oregano. And what we've got going here, well, some cooled down veggies going for some meatballs for the Hunter's hero. Now, what he did earlier, Hunter took these, the inside of the sourdough bread, soaked it in some milk. Now I want you to squeeze them, get the milk out of it. They'll still hold on to a little bit of milk. Like and put And put those into there, okay? okay. All right, I'll hold these herbs here because these are going to be going in with this mixture. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to add these veggies, which I also put a little salt and pepper into, but I'm going to put these veggies down. Now, we've got some garlic in here, red bell pepper, and some red onion. Point, hit it. No shell. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so we've got the veggies in there. Let me get a little bit of Parmesan. Hunter, go ahead and crack open that ground beef and Italian sausage. Now, the bulk Italian sausage and the ground beef, well, you get some different texture, some different flavor. Um, my idea with the, with the ground beef, I think the fat really helps it out, but you can't beat Italian sausage when you're talking about meatballs, okay? Got it? Throw it right in. Okay, right in on top. I've got Parmesan cheese, red onions, red bell pepper, garlic, everybody in here, little parsley, little oregano, and then I've got some sourdough bread that's soaked in some milk. Now, how's that look? Okay. Now, I want you to grab about a handful, about that big. Okay, and stick yeah. it in the pan. Not pressing it too hard. You press it too hard when they cook, you'll cook the fat right out. Okay. So there we go, let me crank up my heat. It's already got some fat in here, I might need to add a little bit more. Now, what we've got here is some meatballs that have some pork and some ground beef. Hunter helped chop it all up and mix it together. We got some breadcrumbs, or actually some sourdough bread that was soaked in milk to really put in some nice moisture. So far, so good? Yeah. Prime time. Okay, let's lay some cheese down. And what we're gonna do, we kind of canoed out these uh, hoagie rolls. And what I mean by canoeing them out is cut them down the center and took the bread out. I don't need any extra bread, I don't know about you. But we canoed them out and then uh, lay the meatballs right down inside, hit them with a little cheese on top, a little sliced mozzarella. Okay. Now, let me pop these under the broiler just for a couple minutes to brown this cheese up because the meatballs are already done. Actually, you know what? I'm a little scared. I'll go down low, but set it up high. Tell me those aren't the bad boys right there. Uh -huh. Which one, eeny, meeny, miny, moe? This I one? Think this one. This one or that one? This one. That one? Yeah. Okay. The one I made. Now watch yourself, boo. These are going to be super duper hot, okay? Throw yours on your plate right there. Can you get a bite on that? I don't think right now. No, you think it's too hot? Bite it on the bottom, not where the cheese is. Okay. Like this. Mmm. That's fantastic. Oh. 